What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got some more NBA news to of course be talking about with you guys. For those of you who haven't heard about this, Eric Pascal has officially been traded away to the Utah Jazz. And this is, you know, all being reported by really everyone. Woj, Shams, whoever you want to kind of go about it, everyone's kind of spoken about it at this point. But this apparently, they got back a second round pick in the future. This was reportedly to clear up a roster, um, you know, space and clear up 1.6 million in cap. Now, I, I find this to be really interesting. And might I point out, I've been making some videos where I've been talking about, you know, Jordan Poole potentially being traded. A lot of people, you know, a lot of Warriors fans have been saying, Jordan Poole will never get traded. Jordan Poole will never get traded. These are the same Warriors fans that were telling me you know, that Eric Pascal would never get traded. And I said Pascal would also be in either an offer for a star or they would maybe trade him to get a vet in or something like that. And guess what? I was right. So, again, don't be shocked if Jordan Poole was traded for, like, in a package for someone because, again, the same people will go to the comments and tell me that Jordan Poole will not get moved. Look, in my opinion, he won't get moved. I, I believe you, but just don't be surprised because look at Eric Pascal now. He shocked a lot of Warriors fans with him getting moved. Pretty much, I believe that there is a player on the Warriors' mind that they are going to be going after in free agency. Like, a genuine player, a genuine role player, like a genuine veteran, I think would be really, really cool to kind of see, you know, how how that would all go. Like, I mean, they've already gotten some veterans here and there. Otto Porter Jr., of course. They did decide to bring in Naman Bialitsa. They decide to bring in as well. I think they do need a backup guard, I think would be the thing. Well, maybe a backup point guard, like a veteran backup point guard, I think would be kind of their move. Because their depth of point guard right now is very, very slim. And then I think, like, maybe a backup center, I think, would be would be a pretty interesting thing for them to maybe go after. Again, there are definitely still a lot of veterans out there right now. The list is just getting very, very small, legitimately every single year. So, again, these veterans are signing with teams, and they always sign with the big names, um, like the Lakers, the Heat, uh, you know, they're starting to come to the Knicks now, and then the Warriors as well, but Warriors have kind of fallen off, so I, I don't know, will the Warriors be able to go out and sign the, the remaining veterans? I'm sure they will, because I think the Lakers have gotten pretty much any good veteran left in the league they've all pretty much signed them to you know deals now so you know the Warriors they'll just be waiting on someone I'm not too sure who that's gonna be in my opinion at the time making this video Kawhi Leonard still hasn't signed with the LA Clippers look by the time this video comes out he probably will have signed don't get me wrong so probably don't think about this one too much but hey if this video is out and Kawhi Leonard does not sign with a team it would be pretty interesting to see them maybe continuously try and go after him. Of course, offer up a sign and trade of, yes, a Jordan Poole. There you go, Warriors fans. He'd only get traded maybe if it was like in a package for someone, is what I'm trying to say here. So maybe like Jordan Poole, um, it'd have to be James Wiseman, of course, Andrew Wiggins, and a bunch of picks. If you're the Golden State Warriors, you are doing that because then you have an absolutely insane, you know, team. You realistically look at it, you could be going into next season with a starting five that, you know, if they brought back Kali Oubre as well, which look, he's still on the free agency market at the time making this video. Uh, I think he'd actually come off the bench because apparently they wanted him to play that Iguodala role off the bench. He kind of got moved there towards the end of the season. So I'm probably sure they'd start like Otto Porter over him. So it actually, yeah, it'd probably be like Steph Curry at point, Clay Thompson at shooting guard, Kawhi Leonard maybe at small forward, Otto Porter at power forward, Draymond at center, Kali Oubre off the bench um, with like a Moses Moody, uh, Jonathan Kaminga, Naman, Bayalitsa, etc. The list would be insane, but who knows at the time I'm making this video, uh, Kawhi Leonard has probably signed with the Clippers again. I just don't think he's leaving, but hey, the Warriors should definitely still be very, very much in pursuit to, of course, try and get him. So, don't get me wrong. I think a move like that could eventually happen, but will, will it? Who even knows? Like, I, I still think trading away Eric Pascal, though, Training him away was a little bit weird, because if you wanted to go after a dude like Kawhi, wouldn't you have used him in, like, a package for someone? Like, what does the second round get you? If the Cleveland Cavaliers were able to get Isaiah Hartenstein and two second round picks, uh, you know, out of an old JaVale McGee, wouldn't you think the Golden State Warriors could get maybe a little bit more than a second round pick out of Eric Pascal? 
that just, I don't know, it's just a little bit weird to me that that is all they would trade him for. But I actually don't mind this at all because I don't think Pascal really fit in with this Warriors team anyway. They can, of course, go out, give some more minutes now to Kaminga. Um, Bialitsa is probably a better fit for this team too. All these players are better fits. They can get, of course, more minutes with this Golden State Warriors team now too. So, of course, that would, you know, make uh, a lot of sense in my opinion. So, yeah, I don't, I don't mind that, you know, really at all by the Golden State Warriors. And I think there's still kind of a lot to work with here. I just still think trading away Eric Pascal, it was a little bit of a, a weird thing, you know. Why, why, why would they do that? I'm still not exactly too sure at all. Of course, there are other videos, you know, that I'm still planning on making, uh, especially considering they're interested in Joe Ingles. They're apparently still interested in Ben Simmons. How all of this will all go, I'm just, it is still going to be really, really interesting. I'll be making some more separate videos on that very, very soon. Um, so yeah, def definitely don't forget to stay tuned for that if you haven't already. But of course, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for all latest NBA content and NBA news. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel, Emma Iro slash Long Charles. Don't forget to check out my podcast as well, which I'll be linking in the description down below. Uh, don't forget to comment your thoughts and opinions on the Golden State Warriors trading away Eric Pascal. Do you guys think it was a good idea? Do you guys think it was a bad idea? Of course, I'd very much like to hear all of your thoughts and opinions on this down below. But as I was saying, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.